everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead, and today we are just going to be continuing, so let's get started. This is exactly where we left off, and I know it for a fact. So, What's going uh, on with them? Don't know. Oh, by the way, okay, so I also wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to try to, like, end the episode when a cutscene comes, because I know that's when it saves the game, so... Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah... They have different ideas honest. about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir crazy when their tummy's oh, it's empty. swimming today, it's where my hair is all little, like... <laughs> and Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought She's in so short sweet. time. But you all are safe here. Zach don't made me so nervous though, because he keeps telling me that go shit's around. gonna go down. Don't I don't know what shit's far. gonna go down. Dinner will be ready before you know it. Are they gonna poison us? And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. I'm just reading the words at the bottom. <laughs> Clement! <coughs> oh, we give her a hat now! Oh, there's a storm. Oh, shit. Give Clementine her hat. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick Did it? Did you lick it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Clementine. Give her a hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! You knew I needed it. Well, mm -hmm. you did tell me it was a birthday present from your dad. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee. She's so cute. Do you think you'll ever have kids? <gasps> mm. I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Claire. It's so cute! Can you take the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. This is so cute. My god. Alright. Gonna leave. Ah, oh, it just got louder. <laughs> so, uh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, oh I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do Things get a little saucy. <laughs> but, uh, he's a dick. <laughs> um, but I guess he's just a dick to us. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe we should go talk to, uh, Lily about that. What she thinks of our whole thing over there. We could talk to her about her dad without her dad in front. Right there. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Yeah. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn, where we at least know what to expect. 
Hey, Zach. <laughs> I'm, I'm recording right now, Zach. Um. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Should we talk about her dad? It's about been her. three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he Did is. Her hand just go through her thing. Does he treat you like that too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes. Zachary. I know <laughs> he's not a bad guy. He just. He's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself and me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always We're being relatable. Creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Okay, so Kenny wants to check out the barn and stay, but Lily wants to leave. And I assume we're gonna have to side with one of them. And that's a huge problem. A huge, 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 huge problem. But I don't know if I should go up there because they're kind of talking. I don't know if I want to talk to Danny yet. I can only look at the swing. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. No, I thought that was... Hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. Wow, we... Uh-oh! He's gonna shoot us! This guy is fucking insane. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Now I'm really suspicious. That guy is being insane. I don't know. Is that what that is? No, what? I want to go talk to uh, the other one. I forget what his name is. Dave or something. In front of the kids to see what he does. That guy sounds like he uh, wants to poison me. Not even kidding. It's not a joke. <laughs> to the barn. Andy. Hey there, Andy. Mm. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. I'm not going to say the second one, only because Clementine and Duck and Katja can listen it. Katja can handle it, but or they're um, right there. When do you think uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. What the fuck? Okay. 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 
I don't know if I want to talk about that with him Thanks. right now yep. because I think I'm actually going to have to uh, go up to them up by the top because nothing seems to be moving right now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Go. Can you stop? Can you stop? Please stop, Zach. Please. <laughs> so we'll go. We'll uh, we'll finish talking later. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> You've been getting along with Larry. <laughs> he just a big old sweetheart, ain't he? Uh, don't know if I would have used those words exactly. Yeah. Don't judge, honey. This world is bringing out the worst in people. But if you really look, you'll catch a glimpse of humanity every now and then. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch What's and start Mark? hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have oh. to trust me on this, Lee. I've oh. helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, they can hold their own. Your boy is nuts! Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. I think I'll go have a look around. Kinda peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Mm -hmm. I thought they were so nice, but now it's just giving me the creeps, man. It's freaking Danny! Holy shit! Like, so weird! Should I, um... I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. Talk to Lily. Talk to okay, I can go inside the toolbox, I guess. Hmm. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. Okay. Oh that was odd. And interesting. I might have to talk to Danny about the the lady. Or Andy, sorry. That one's Danny. Keep forgetting. How much time are we on? 13 minutes. Got it. Okay, I want to talk to Andy. Hey there, Andy. Yep. Stop, please. Zach, come on. Go, oh, please, stop. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Thanks. Yep. Stop! Zach! <laughs> Alright, guys, so I'm gonna have to pause this for a second because Zach is being... Stop, please. Stop. Do not disturb. Sorry, Zach, I had to. Alright. Anything? No. Back. Let me check the stall doors for anything. Hey, look, another salt lick. Another salt lick. I want to put in the hay. Okay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Uh, 
Duck, are you okay? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do on a hay bale? Empty. Alright, so I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing right now, and this is probably. Ooh, there's a back door. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point I'm gonna, is, I'm definitely gonna have sure. to pick between Lily and Kenny. Find a hammer or something, and I'll have this. I have so many freaking interruptions. It's Back unbelievable. In case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Take the lock apart. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban. Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> what? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> can I help you boys find something? Come on, we good. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. This you know, is the bandits so sorry about your friend. Creepy. Hey, uh, all right, I, don't, I still don't know who Mark, fuck who the fuck Mark is. Door, so, okay? just you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem, right away, Doc. Andrew, why does she call him Andrew? Am I gonna do it? Do I have to do it? Oh, okay. So I have to distract Andy to get him out of the barn. To Kenny. Hey there, Andy. Yep. Danny mentioned he needed something. That was a horrible idea. You say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. This is gonna come right back on top of me. Shit, okay, 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 okay. Go, go, go. Quick, 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 quick. Quick as shit, quick as shit, quick as shit. Fucking quick. Okay, let's do this. False alarm, I'm back. Fucking shit, okay. <laughs> Maybe I can use duck. Play on the hay bale. I wanna play on the hay bale, okay. I want to put in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Oh, I don't have a choice to tell him? Okay. Shit. Okay. Fuck. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Why do you lock that door? Where do you keep your tools? Let's try where do you keep your tools. So, where do you keep the rest of the tools? Well, if you need something, just tell me what it is and I can get it for you. Eh, not that important. Why do you lock that door? 
Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff. Even with the fence. Alrighty then. I don't know if I can do it while he's in the room. Hey guys, seriously, don't fuck around with that. Come on, enough already. Fuck! What am I supposed to do? Fuck! I picked up something I think could help with the lock. Alright, good to hear. Trying to distract me, Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? Okay. Looks like we got a plan. We're gonna fuck with the generators and probably ruin our chance of safety, but you know what? It's all for the love of uh, finding what supplies are in that back room. Or what dead bodies are there, because that's what I have a feeling is gonna be behind there. I just want to eat dinner, man. <laughs> I just want to go to dinner. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna fucking break it. Turn it off so I don't get fucking like. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna need a screwdriver for this. My heart is like fucking like beating. Holy shit. There you go. Just fucking like undo the gear. <clears throat> that thing is on too tight for my bare hands. Alright, then we gotta use the multi tool on it. There, that should do it. <laughs> Find this piece of shit. Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, oh, son of a fuck. Oh, this will take forever. Perfect. We're gonna go in, do the thing, and Danny's gonna walk in. <laughs> That's <laughs> death. It's like walking into like my dad. Mom, Dad, dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Just by myself? Are you kidding me? Tell me I have to do this four times. Dinner time. Look, I just came in and found the door open like that. Probably my idea, brother. Uh, hey, was anyone with you just now? No. Not the doc? No, she went in the house. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, good. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Holy Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. They killed. That was a while ago. They killed they ain't been Mark. Back inside oh since. my God! Everybody, sit down. Now go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Should I go upstairs or should I actually go to the bathroom? not in here. Mark's not in there. Either. No, that's too fucking... I don't know if I want to do this. The... <laughs> Get out of here, get out of here, get the hell out of here. Door's locked, I guess. Oh god! Hello? Mark? Where the hell is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Is that blood? Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Mark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's what crazy. The hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. No, come on! Mom, I was eating that. Quite what is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. 
Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. Just let us go. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. <gasps> Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. <gasps> oh my god. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black. Put fuck? your guns down! We're walking you out of go here! Near my fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! I think we're gonna end that episode here, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Um, bye.